But why using a classification system like ETIM or E-Class? Well, ETIM is a branch-specific classification standard for electronics and sanitary industry. E-Class is an international standard for unified classification of products and services. E-Class and ETIM simplifies the exchange of product data across industries, countries and languages. ATIM and E-Class providing mapping information either for new versions of the classification itself, but also to transform product data from ATIM to E-Class. With classification systems like ATIM or E-Class, a unified classification of products can be done easily. In the following example, the ATIM classification was implemented into the PIMCO classification store. The PIMCO classification store is the perfect platform for such an implementation. While PIMCO object bricks did have some issues in duplicates of definitions and its performance for such a high amount of product attributes, the classification store can almost perfectly manage the needs of such a classification system. However, we had to do some adjustments to the PIMCO classification store to meet the requirements of the systems. We have to suppress the collections and introduce a limitation to only one choosable group because in classification systems, only one class is allowed to be chosen at the same time. We introduced the classification, the translations of the groups and keys of the classification based on the given translations that are delivered by ETIM or E-Class. We introduced the support that only specific values for the same attributes are allowed depending on the class where the attributes appears. ATIM and E-Class are coming up with all the needed translations for the attributes and its values. These translations are imported automatically into the admin translations of PIMCO. The translations can be used for performing any exports of the data out of PIMCO. Additionally, the translations are visible in the PIMCO backend while maintaining the product data. By using the given API or web services of ATIM or E-Class, we can import all the needed classes with its attributes, values, and translations. To avoid flooding the classification store with attributes that are not needed, only these classes are imported that are suitable for the given products. By configuration, a whitelist of these classes can be maintained. This whitelist can be extended once additional classes are needed. Several different versions of the classification can also be imported and provided at the same time. Technically, the implementation comes up as a PIMCO bundle. In this bundle, you can configure the needed classes and the credentials for the API. The import of the whole classification via its API is triggered by console commands. So just have a look how it works. First, we have to prepare the store. Just step into the classification store and create a new empty store. We call it ATIM7. Via console command, we start the import of the ATIM data via APA to the store. The duration of, for, for example, 50 classes will take about five minutes for the definitions mm -hmm. and about 20 minutes for the translations for seven languages. After the import is done, let's check the store. In the given store, all groups and definitions are now available after the import was done. Now we introduce the ATIM classification into the product class. We step into the given class definition. Here we introduce a new tab. We add the store to the class and connect the given ATIM7 store. Now let's see how the maintenance works. Just open any product. Step into the ATIM7 tab, choose the appropriate ATIM class, and you can see all the definitions are available for maintenance, including the translations of the values. 
Adding a second class is not allowed in an item-driven classification store. So let's have a look into the admin translations. As you can see, all the translations for item are available in several languages. Let's select the backend and its translations. For example, we are switching the backend language to Dutch. And you can see all the descriptions and values are also translated automatically. And finally, the grid view, batch editing, and export of ATEM attributes. In the grid view, just add the store in the grid options. Choose the appropriate ATEM class. And all attributes are available for the grid view. You can even maintain it here and using the batch editing or you can export as a CSV or Excel file. In such an export, only the item codes of attributes and its values are exported into that file. And that is exactly a wholesaler would expect the data to be delivered. So that it's, that's it so far. On our roadmap, we have some further developments of ATEM or E-Class integrations. We want to connect the non atom or E-Class attributes within PIMCOR to the classification store. This is useful if you have several internal attributes that fits to some official attributes within ATEM or E-Class to avoid duplicate maintenance. Additionally, we work on managing the mappings of different classes of ATEM for migrating the maintained values. And the new ATEM 8 modeling classes called ATEM MC are coming up for classification of BIM data.